Brainerd High School has taken a major step toward preparing students for the workforce. Shane Lee takes an inside look at the career advising project and how it will help lead students where they want to go. Several local partners are working together to help Brainerd High School students develop a career path. Kids who don't have a plan for after high school oftentimes end up in dead-end jobs and that's what we want to avoid. The Otto Bremer Foundation presented a check for nearly $90,000 to the Rural Minnesota Concentrated Employment Program to kickstart the Career Exploration Project. In that project we will have a, a career counselor in the high school and be working with juniors, um, sophomores and seniors to provide career awareness for them. The career advisor will work at Brainerd High School during school hours. The advisor will visit classes to talk about career exploration and may sign kids up to visit during class time, study hall, or after school. High schools traditionally prepare students for college, but this project goes one step further. We're challenging students to say, if you're going to college, what career are you, are you looking to go into and do you know what that looks like? Professionals from various fields will connect with students to help them understand what a given career is like. The ultimate goal of the program is for students to create a career portfolio including the National Career Readiness Certificate. The credential is based on the ACT's Work Keys Assessment Program. The certificate is especially helpful to students looking to enter the workforce straight out of high school. In addition to my diploma, I have this certificate that tells you that I have these skills in reading and in math and I have some soft skills as well. The project just wants to make sure Brainerd graduates are ready to work. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. Career planning activities will be offered to more than 1,400 sophomores, juniors, and seniors starting this fall. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.